is coming Welcome to my channel Grab your fishing pole Come on now, let's go Hey guys, it's Zach Hammetry, Legendary Fishing. Today we're going to be doing a tournament, bass tournament. Um, it's the Pond uh, Fort Hood Pond Hoppers tournament. Um, just going around to uh, different ponds on the post. This is the first one I'm going to start. At. I'm going to start throwing top waters. Uh, see, there's a little bit of vegetation that's in the water around the edge fish around it see what we can get um there's several ponds i'm gonna be going to but uh this is the first one that i'm gonna stop at because of the grass because of the early morning top water bite hopefully here it is 7:22 at 7 30 we're gonna start fishing all right guys 7 30 First cast going in the water. Let's see what this if this frog does anything for him. Got this little lunker hunt. I think it's a pad crusher. A little bitty, little bitty frog. I don't think there's gonna be anything, any monsters in here. Uh, I don't think that one's gonna count. <laughs> it's gotta be at least 12 inches. But there's bass in here. He, <laughs> he ate it though. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I set the hook on him so hard. He came, <laughs> he came flying out the water. I mean, there is just a ton of little bass right here. Oh, <laughs> I had something to grab it.
I'm actually going to I know I'm trying to get some bigger fish here but I'm having a whole bunch of hits so I'm gonna do it I'm gonna go about halfway down the worm break off this part cut it down to size Gotta be some bluegills too. As if they were bass, you'd think they'd get the hook in their mouth, even if they were small. What do we got here? A little dinky. Yeah. Another little dinkster. About the same size as the last one I got, but I got him. I'm not going to be messing around here for too long with these little guys. Go to a different pond. I just I know these aren't the spawners. The big males and females got to be in here somewhere. Yeah, the at least twelve inches. Oh god, he's chubby though. He's been eating good. I'm using a young finesse worm. As you just seen, I basically just tore the head off. I'm gonna hook it in the middle of that. And this is garlic. Yeah, garlic and crawfish scent. And then I'm going to take this dipping glow, dip the tail in it. And so the purpose of the dipping glow, other than it does have garlic scent to it, is the now it's uh, uh, chartreuse. A bluegill's tail, most of the time, if you see one in the water, is going to be chartreuse. So you make the tail of this bait or your your soft plastic chartreuse and it kind of mimics a uh, bluegill a little bit I think this is a neutral buoyancy worm. Let me put this weight back on it. And I'm going to put it about a foot, foot and a half up the line. Try and keep it out of the grass. I got fish trying to eat my line floating on top of the water.
There's one. Little. Ah, dang it. Even smaller. I'm not even taking a picture of this one. Yeah, if there wasn't a size limit for this tournament, I, at least I'd be on the board. I'd be on the board with about about 12 inches. Actually, I'm pretty sure that's right on the grass. Um, <laughs> like I said, I think they're getting smaller. And that one got my worm. Threw my worm. I see it floating. <sighs> Alright. Alright, guys. I'm gonna... I'm gonna move down the bank a ways. Next time you see me, I'll be down there. Alright, guys. Threw it out. As soon as it hit, <laughs> I had a fish. Again, a little bitty dinky one. I literally threw it out, reached up, turned the camera on, went to reel, and already had a fish. Fishing grass, don't get me wrong. Where there's grass, there's bass, but... when it's grass with this much grass and the type of grass it is it is kind of difficult to fish it there's one get him out of the grass there's another little dinky guy and he threw my worm Great. they are chubby chubby though this one in I'm pretty sure I got one to put on the board finally uh, he got down there in that slop <clears throat> yeah it's gonna be pretty close But I think I might got one now. About time. I've been fishing this spot for about an hour now. This pond. Now I've seen them this size and and bigger actually. Let me get my stick out. See if it's twelve. Yeah, it's over 12. So we got about 13 and a quarter. 13, yeah, 13 and a quarter. All right, I gotta get a picture. Oh man, and he was doing so well too. Close your mouth. Stay just like that. Pinch the tail. Little guy, 12 and no, 13 and a quarter. All right, let's see, get a picture of me holding him. That look like this.
if I can get two more, I'll be doing all right then. All right, guys. Found a few sunfish beds. There's some bass swimming around. I've just got one that was about 10 inches. There goes a bass. I doubt he hits this though. No, he took off. So what I started doing, these Ned Rig crawls float. So what I'm doing is I got this little split shot. A couple inches above the hook. I have to throw this in there, and it, the oh shoot, the crawl floats just above the bottom. I'm basically just sight fishing for these bass. I see a whole bunch of long ear sunfish, very few bluegills. Let's see what one of these sunfish do with this crawfish. Oh, there's a little bass right there. Let's see if he comes for this little crawl. Is that a two bass? Nope. I got some fish checking it out. Guys, I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's a whole bunch of fish right here. Got a bluegill messing with my crawl right now. Oh, I said that, and he I twitched it and he took off. And then there's a little bass. But I came right here because there's this ditch right here. It's kind of a trough. Let's see if I can't cast down it. Bring it up this deeper water here. See if I can get anything. Well, that ended up being it. Uh, caught several more fish, just nothing worth videoing or uh, mentioning, really. No, I, don't, I don't think I even took any pictures of them. But uh, I only got 
the one that was big enough to put on the board. Uh, I know that puts me at least third or fourth. Uh, I know of two other guys that, that caught fish bigger than mine. So uh, it all depends on you know what everybody else got. So, uh, but that's the way it goes. Uh, broke off on one fish and then got the one that was uh, what was 13 and a quarter. So, uh, I mean, I just I couldn't fit, find any big bites today. All those little bitty ones uh, caught you know, several, uh, probably 20. Uh, bass today, most of them being in the three to four inch range. So, uh, we'll see how it goes, uh, what, what the outcome ends up being, but that's going to be it for the fishing.